Hello everyone and welcome back to The Sims 4. I hope you guys are excited for this series because I am honestly super freaking excited for this series. I've gotten so many comments, I guess over the lifespan of my channel really, saying Matt, please play more Sims 4. Matt, Sims 4 is your best series. Matt, I only watch your Sims 4 videos and nobody else's. You make the game great. So many fantastic comments, and that's one of the reasons why my Rags to Riches series was one of my favorite series I've ever done on my channel. It wasn't the game, even though I love playing The Sims, it's the fact that you guys like it so much. And I think you like it because it brings out a certain style in me. I'm a super sarcastic person, and it's nice to be able to take out that sarcasm on people who don't actually exist, you know? So today, guys, we are going back to the beloved Hobo Joe. Okay, we're gonna go to his house. We're gonna go visit him and Astrid, and some things are gonna happen. You're probably a little bit confused right now, okay? A lot of stuff is gonna happen in this episode. You've seen the thumbnail, you've seen the title. You're like, hmm, what's this all about, huh? Well, I'm gonna show you, and you're gonna love it. All right, guys, welcome back to Hobo Joe. Jesus, Joe, I forgot how much, like, muscle you lost after you kind of settled down and forgot about going to the gym all the time. You get one girlfriend and all of a sudden you don't care about your body anymore. Well, it, it doesn't really matter, okay? Because pretty soon you're gonna be a dad. What? That's right, Joe. We are gonna make you a father today, okay? Now, I know that Astrid is currently uh, at work. She was in the middle of nowhere. Like, literally, there's a place called Mid Nowhere and that's where Joe's house actually is. Because this isn't Joe's house. This is just a, uh... This is just uh, a little a little building next to his shop where he sells all kinds of great stuff like himself dressed in women lingerie and half naked people on the toilet and other great things that just just great things, okay? Kind of bothers me that I built this nice house and put in like closets and shit and kind of decorated it, made a nice washroom, put in a pool in the backyard. I did all of this for one last episode of <laughs> The Sims 4 when I did Rags to Riches. Oh shit. Dude, look at this! Your trash plants are... Uh, well, I mean, it, it stinks anyway, but but look, it's not very happy at the moment. You better go you better go weed this shit, huh? And maybe harvest it. You don't have enough trash plants right now. Get it, get it, get out there. Get out there! What's downstairs now? Oh, okay. Yeah, so we still have this uh this little jail cell in the basement. We could turn it into a little nursery, huh? You wanna you wanna turn it? Shut up, stop it. We could totally turn this place into a nursery. Yeah? Cause I mean we don't have any prisoners right now because Clara died, rest her soul. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and go the baby stuff. I just, uh, I got I got the new city living thing. That's part of the reason why I started a new series, guys. I want to try the new city stuff. It's coming, don't worry. It's, uh, you, don't, just, just don't question anything. You're in my hands. I'm just gonna go ahead and gear up for a, for a, for a full blown child. All right, I know that that can't happen right away. You gotta go through the baby routine and stuff, but Whatever. Okay, let's just go ahead and decorate a nice little room for our kid. Alright, so we got ourselves a bed, we got ourselves a nightstand, we got a little bassinet. You may notice that everything so far is blue, guys, and that's because I'm gonna be having a boy baby. Alright, now go ahead and call me sexist if you want. Hey everybody! Matt Shane's sexist! He doesn't want to have a girl! What the hell, man? Screw you, Matt! Look, I just don't really feel like we can live on the hobo legacy without a male. We need someone to carry on the family name, the hobo name. We need a little miniature Hobo Joe, and that's what we're gonna get, okay? If you eat carrots and listen to alternative music while you're pregnant in this game now, you'll have a boy, or you're more likely to have a boy or something. Now, I know you're a little bit confused, but um, for all you women watching out there, just don't worry about it, okay? That's just the way boys are. You just don't understand our love for alternative music and carrots, okay? It's because carrots look like dicks, all right? We can put in some windows, huh? Just some fake, no, okay. Footprint intersex terrain. Well, I got an idea we could possibly do, just for the hell of it. All right, let's put, let's build more. Let's, let's build out a little bit. You see guys, now our kid is gonna have windows in the basement just so he can see out the window if he wants. And we'll go ahead and we'll paint the walls blue. Okay, so it looks like there's a sky out there even though there's not because you live in the damn basement. All right, look, I got a kid's room. I'd add more to it maybe, but I only got 177 bucks left guys. All right, it's, uh, it's not cheap making a kid's room. It's not cheap having a kid. Damn, what else could, could the kid use? Oh, oh, a pencil holder, wow. Now, you're moving up in the world, buddy. You got pencil holder. Oh, a couple of books, huh? Well, got a couple of books on your desk, damn. And um, uh, a picture of a pair, okay? Now, you remember, you remember that picture of a pair whenever you're feeling sad, it'll, it'll make you feel better. There, good stuff, guys, good stuff. Okay, dandy, we got ourselves a kid's room. Joe's over here, he's picking at these things. 
He's harvesting trash fruit, I would hope. You got trash fruit, right, dude? 99 trash fruit on you! Holy shit, that's a lot of trash fruit. What is this guy doing? I don't remember picking 99 trash fruit, guys, do you? Whatever, it's fine. It's fine. I like trash fruit a lot. It's good, tasty, tasty stuff. You know? You know, guys, I can turn trash fruit into a regular sized bag of trash if I want. Don't ask me what happens if Joe tries to eat this shit. Maybe we should find out, because this is something I don't think I've ever explored. There you go, Joe. You got a big old piece of trash to eat. Stop giving me these things. How do I turn you off? G go away. All right, so Joe's eating some trash fruit. Looks pretty. I don't know why that one's so tiny. That's a little tiny trash fruit. I must have made that one smaller at some point. How is it, buddy? Now, listen. I, I got a really important thing to ask you. I, I Feel free to say no. I would totally understand. But can you literally eat this giant bag of trash for me? Just please. I, I need you to do this. Gosh. I guess so. I think that's what he said. <laughs> Dude, if you do this, you're gonna be literally a savage. Oh, shit! There he goes! He's getting in the pool! What the fuck was- Dude! Oh, he's eating it at the pool! He's got his feet in the pool while he eats a giant bag of trash! That's amazing! Dude, you are my hero. You are my spirit animal. Jesus Christ. Can we get Astrid back here? Astrid, can you come home and make a baby with me? There she is! Look at the beloved Astrid. Guys, what is going on up here? Why does her little little uh, plum bob have a thing around it? What does that mean? I'm confused. I, I've added updates. You know, as I said, I added the whole city thing. And I guess other things have been added as well. This game just keeps getting updates. I'm confused. It's fine. Okay. Let's, uh, baby time. It's baby making time. You ready? Uh, can't bang down here because that's a kid's bed. Try for baby with... Mm -hmm. Who am I going to pick out of this list? Who's my favorite in the list? Who do I want the father of my baby to be? Hobo Joe. After a long day at work, Astrid comes home. Wha oh, shit, the phone's ringing. Don't pick up the phone. Don't pick up the phone. She comes up and she says, Hey, do you want to make a baby with me? I think it's time to have a baby or whatever. Oh, yeah, and then they do this. And then they make a baby. I guess we'll, I guess we'll watch, you know? It's, it's been a while since I watched Sims bang each other under the covers, so... I think it's important that we take this whole thing in, you know? Whoa, 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 okay. Uh, whoa, Jesus, slow down there, guys. Slow down, I didn't tell you to speed up. I was trying to watch in regular speed here, okay? Now, she's all happy. She just got married, like, a while ago. She's still got 15 hours of being happy that she's married. Two days of being happy that she's just married, okay? Uh, oh, she got engaged. Yeah, that's the other one, because then we got engaged and we got married and all that good stuff. Can you piss on a stick for me, please? Just a quick little stick piss, please. Ah, <sighs> Pleasantly satisfied from a good woohoo, and Astrid is not pregnant, maybe, next time. <laughs> I just want a baby! I just want to have a baby, man! Boohoo, we have to have sex again. I think I want to have sex with an alien this time, guys. I think that'd be a little bit, um, a little bit risque, a little bit on the kinky side. Okay, she's already got that happy little alien glow. Spin around, put on your alien, and let's get to it. There we go, okay. Huh, I forgot how she actually looks, guys. But I didn't marry her for her looks, I married her for her... Ability to look good as a human. Okay, can we try this again? Can another another piece stick for you? Hey, Astrid is expecting. There's going to be a new addition to this household. Whoopee! Now, we just need you to eat some carrots and listen to some alternative music. Let's go down here. Do we have a stereo? We don't have a stereo. We'll get a stereo. Don't worry. Okay, we're putting a stereo on the table. And we're gonna sit down. We're gonna eat carrots until we die. Not literally, but we're gonna eat a lot of carrots. I don't- how do you even eat carrots? Can I just buy a carrot? Can I just purchase a carrot from the- from the carrot store? Don't mind me, definitely not cheating here at all. I- I never do that. Ever. Oh, look at that carrot, guys. Look at that sweet orange tuber. How many should I- I'm just gonna leave carrots all around the house, okay? Just as a little hint, like, hey, you should probably eat lots of carrots, Astrid. Just- just- just get over there and eat those carrots all day long. How many- how many is too many carrots? I- I can't stop myself at this point, guys. My mouse basically has a mind of its own. Holy shit. Carrots are going everywhere, guys. Jesus Christ. It's a carrot infestation. Okay, I think that's probably enough, honestly. I mean, we only have to eat a few, right? I'm- you're gonna eat carrots all day. Eat that carrot, and then you're gonna- you're gonna eat this carrot, and you're gonna eat this carrot, and don't forget to eat this one, and this one. What the hell is this? Okay, that food is actually not spoiled. I'm surprised. And then- you also have to listen to alternative music. Here we go, baby time. I think you should also dance. Okay, just just a little. Oh, you got a dance skill. Good job. Good job, dude. This is this is how everybody dances. 100% true. So you just uh, you just dance and listen to this alternative music. Just 
complete blister your ears or whatever. Uh, and eat more carrots. Don't forget to always eat carrots. Don't chat with Joe. Okay, don't don't get him in on this. We just need to eat carrots. Just do it. What do you mean you can't? Hmm? Can't reach the carrots, guys. Wow, poor thing. She just, she, arms, arms don't work. That's uh, a common sign that you're pregnant. Your arms don't work. Why don't we just, why don't we just get rid of this chair? Okay, we don't, we don't need a chair. Fuck it. Hey, Astrid, I know what'll make you like super pregnant if you eat a giant carrot. I mean, anytime you make something really big, it automatically increases its effects, right? I made that up, obviously, but look at that giant carrot. Don't you want to eat that giant carrot? Jesus, it looks so good. Reach down to pick that thing up. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that carrot. Mm -mm. Hey, Joe, I got some bad news for you. You need to pay your bills. It's 6,000 bucks, and I know you don't have the money, so you're gonna have to sell some more delicious paintings. Sorry. Wow. I can't believe it, guys. I actually managed to make enough money at the store in one day to prevent my power from being shut off. I feel so accomplished right now. Uh, I need $5,000. There you go. And I should be able to pay my... No, I need more money. Damn it. All right, bills have been paid. You guys can get the hell out of here. Let me go and close the store. Please never come back, okay? I really don't like you people. Okay, guys, I swear I didn't do anything. I was just feeding her carrots, and all of a sudden, she was feeling flirty, and she decided that she wanted to bang Joe in the closet. So uh, just be careful, okay? Because there's a baby in there. You don't want to hurt it. I'm sure they can handle themselves. You know, guys, there's something I forgot when it comes to Astrid. She hates children. Seems that hate children feel a little uneasy about being pregnant. Huh. Okay, well, luckily for you, the child is not going to be spending that much time with you. No, Astrid, why are you taking out the garbage? You're pregnant. Stop doing things, okay? Did you hit the third trimester yet? Yeah, she's in the third trimester now, guys, and she's going to give birth in, like, whenever, okay? It could be any moment. Could be tomorrow. Could be now. I'm just going to speed up time until it happens. Um, wait, 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 wait. Can I just go down here to this bassinet and be like, yo, put the baby in here? No, I can sell it if I want. Well, I, that's that's good. Oh, great. My wife, who is just about to give birth, has decided to go talk to a man. Just some random dude who happens to be... Um... He's nowhere. Oh, th is that him? Yeah, it is. Okay, she's, she's following some random dude around, guys. This isn't good, but... Look, whatever you want to do, you're the pregnant one. I know pregnant women have weird cravings. If you want to crave this man, well, I'd rather if you didn't, to be honest. Come on, Astrid. Keep on eating those carrots. If you're not going to have a baby, you'll just have to eat carrots all day long until you do. And she pissed herself. Good job. I didn't realize carrots made you need to pee so bad. Pregnant lady in a bubble bath because she pissed herself. Can you please have a- okay, yeah, just drown yourself. That's the best option. Don't- don't bother having a baby first. Okay, guys, Astrid just went into labor, as you can tell from the very- Scared look on Joe's face. Also, he's broken out into a rash or some shit. I don't know. Whatever. It's fine. Astrid, where are you gonna have that baby? Huh? You're gonna have that baby upstairs? Alright, we'll go upstairs and have that baby. That's cool. That's cool. You're gonna have your baby in the closet? Seems... seems like a bad idea. She's crying in the closet, guys. She's crying in the freaking closet. Look, I get it. You don't like babies, but still. I know you're also embarrassed from pissing yourself, but it's only gonna last for six more minutes. Probably because you're crying in the closet. Let's go downstairs and stick that baby in a bassinet, okay? It's been a long time... Can I not do that? Do I need to click on her? Get out, get out, get out of here. Look, 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 look at you. Look at, look, look, look at you right now. Uh, have baby at hospital. Well, I guess, but bring it back when you're done. Hooray. Joe is still freaking the hell out about this baby thing. Dude, it's gonna be okay. Don't worry, I get it. Babies are scary, all right? But look, Astrid is, yeah, she also looks kind of worried. Doctor, hey, look, it's Dr. Matt Shea. Holy crap! I can't believe he's joining us for a big day! I think it's happening, guys. She's doing things all on her own. There's nothing queued up. She's just walking around. She's gonna go to a bed or some other place. I think maybe they do it here. Whoa, look at this, guys. Reach in there. It's- oh, gee, is that an egg beater? I'm kind of worried. Seriously, Jesus Christ. Astra has learned that Matt is the doctor at the mustard clinic. Oh, good. Just go ahead and squirt that mustard all over my baby, dude. It's fine. It's totally cool. Um, more of that? What is- is, is that glue? Wait, wait, wait. I'm so worried, man. I don't feel safe at this hospital. What's going on? Oh! Okay! It's a boy! That's- that's what I was- that's what I was thinking. That's- that's- that's what we needed, guys. Good. It takes a load off my mind. Asher just gave birth to a baby boy. This baby needs a name. Really? The baby needs a name? That seems like a weird kind of thing. First of all, He's a hobo, okay? He's not a jingle bottom. Get out of here with that shit. Second of all, guys, I think I know what I want to name this kid. 
All right, now we got a Joe. What's Joe's son's name gonna be? No, not Joe Jr. or Joe the Second or some crap like that. We're gonna name him Bo. Bo Hobo. Bo Hobo. Baby born. Astrid and Joe had a baby. Congratulations, the doctor has prepared the birth certificate. I don't care about that shit. Just let me have my baby. Can I take my? See this shit right here? This is some scary shit. Jesus. Okay, where's the baby? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's an alien. Oh my God, it's an alien baby, guys. That's uh, that's gonna add even more pizzazz to this series. The alien baby who goes off and does things that you will eventually find out. Okay, I got lots of plans up here. Where's the baby? Has anyone has anyone seen the baby? Baby, it's gone. The, ba the baby's gone. That's fine. I think we're ready to go home. Let's go home. No, not this home. Seriously, can we? <sighs> okay, well, that's fine. That's fine. You know, you know what? It doesn't even matter, guys. Okay, we're not keeping this baby as a baby. It's, it's not important. I don't want to have to do all the stupid stuff like feed it and cuddle it and all that stuff that makes it uh, a great child. Okay, how do I how do I age this baby up? Can I not do that? A second ago, I could do that. Where'd it go? Age up. There we go. Okay, get the birthday candles ready, guys, because today is Bo's birthday. Look at this. What are you, fucking genie or some shit? What is what? Okay, fine. So let the games begin. What do you what do you want this kid to be? I already know what he's gonna be. No, I don't, because there's only four options. Hmm. Playful and nimble is definitely the best choice here, guys, because obviously this kid is gonna be a problem child. How did you figure it out, right? And a trait. Hmm. <laughs> Goofball is good. Evil. Oh man, can you imagine if the kid was evil? Kleptomaniac is good. Oh, we need to have Kleptomaniac. Okay, as much as I would like him to be evil and all these other great things, Kleptomaniac is the most important because he wants to steal things just like his daddy. I'm so proud of him. All right, little genie boy. Whatever the hell is going on. Can you put on a disguise for the love of God? This kid looks a little bit mischievous, guys. I just, I don't want him to have purple skin. That's really gonna, really gonna distract people. You know, I don't want this guy to draw too much attention. But I don't know how to actually make him not a purple kid right now. Okay, so purple kid, let's go. Let's go do shit. So I just did a little bit of research, guys. Turns out this kid is not an alien, he's a hybrid, which means that he doesn't get a disguise. What does he get? Apparently purple skin. They were just like, you know what, this kid needs to have purple skin. That's really gonna make him, uh, make him fit in with all the other kids at school, right? So, let's just go ahead and change that, alright? Because I have, I have cheats, I can do what I want. Look at that, now the kid looks completely normal. Good job, buddy. Except for the fact that you look absolutely ridiculous in what you're wearing. Seriously, who dressed you? You'd look better if you had a pumpkin on your head. You still look awful, but better. You could be Yoda, also stupid. Can you just, uh, not wear anything on your head? What a little shit this kid is gonna be, guys. I can tell. Look at these, his little schemer. He's a little schemer, he's looking around, he's, he's ready to cause some trouble. And that's exactly what he's gonna do. Let's get you into some real clothes, and uh, and then we'll send you it on your own. Guys, I cannot get over how much this kid just looks like a little shit. Seriously, he is gonna be the best troublemaker you have ever seen. It's good, it's good, let's go. Now here's where all the technicalities come in, guys. I'm not gonna explain too much, okay? I'm just gonna tell you this. Our kid is leaving home, and he's never, ever coming back. Because nobody ever has to come back home. That's just the way it works in a sim. So what you're gonna do, is you're gonna tell your mom that, that you're just gonna yell at her. Okay, you're gonna yell at your mom, and you're gonna go downstairs after you're done, and you're gonna insult your dad, and you're gonna leave, and you're never gonna come back, okay? Yeah, I know, it's not a great way to start your relationship off with your kid, but uh, that's the way it's gonna be. Here we go. Oh! Oh shit, look at the look on her face, she is not happy about what this kid is doing. And he's gonna strut away. Strut away, kid. What are you sitting on the bed for? What are you? What are you singing on the bed? Get downstairs and insult your dad. No, he's coming up. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Don't. It's it's fine. Here it comes. <laughs> okay. So now now they're kind of pissed at him. He's kind of pissed at them. And here we go. Travel. We're gonna travel the world as as a little child, a little problem child. And it's gonna be wonderful! Just me and Bo Hobo causing trouble all day long! But we're not staying in this city, or this town, or whatever. We're going to the brand new city, guys. San Mishuno. Ooh, there's even a little bus thing there. What the hell is that about? I don't care. Wait, what are we... Are we all traveling here? You, can, you guys can't come with me. I hope you know that, right? Let's go visit the Bahida family, okay? And travel. No, we're not going with the parents. That's not happening. Goodbye. 
So here he is guys, little kid in the big city. Welcome to San Mishuno. I really hope great things come from this series. And just so you guys know, this is hopefully gonna be uploaded every Saturday, okay? That's my plan. I'm gonna try my best to stick to it. I wanna give you guys something to look forward to every Saturday. Really hope you guys enjoy the series. And I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.